Hello and welcome to another Wine Word Italy review. Today I'm going to review another of the uh, Cantina Manarese wines. Again, with the characteristic label that looks as if it's been blacked out, but in fact this is part of the style. The label is the wine itself. There's a large rectangle cut from the label so you can see it. This one is a Colli Bolognese DOC Merlot produced um, at, the, uh, at the cantina and uh, let's get it open and talk a little bit about it. They produce four wines currently. There's a fifth one uh, in production at the moment. It will be released shortly. Three whites and this at the moment is the only red that you can actually buy. Production is about 3,300 bottles a year at the moment and they also have it probably, I'm not sure, available um, loose so you can take a demijohn along and top it up I would assume, but I don't know. Okay, let's get this open. It's 100% uh, Merlot grapes these are grown, as I said, on a west-facing slope of the cantina. Now Merlot is really an Italian name for grapes. My goodness, oh, a nice pot there. Um, the blackbird in British English is called Merlot without a T in Italian. And apparently it, the grapes got their name from this bird because of its habit, its, its uh, passion um, in eating the grapes themselves, so uh, it was regarded as a bit of a robber. Um, I don't know if it's true, but it's a very nice little story. Anyway, there we are. Manarese. Again, the beautiful label and the, the signature there of Paolo Manarese, which is the name of the, uh, the cantina. Okay, let's have uh, pop some in the glass. We'll talk a little bit more about it. It's harvested in the second ten days of September which is, oh, splendid sound, um, a little later than is traditional with this particular varietal, um, just to assure a slightly better maturation. It's manually harvested into uh, small boxes, and uh, it's a selective harvest, not everything's chucked in. It's uh, chosen, let's, um, let's have a look at that for the colour. It's a very nice red, okay, nice warm red, and a sort of pinkish, violet kind of edge to it. And you can see the alcohol going up the glass there quite nicely. Again it's not a not a light one that they're producing here. The DOC Bolognese Merlot can range from 12% alcohol upwards. This particular one is up to 14 and in, even from this distance it's a very hot afternoon we've got about 30 degrees here it's um, I can smell the alcohol coming across. Now I hope it's not overpowering I'm sure it won't be. Let's get the nose in and see what we're getting. Oh, that's absolutely superb. The sun, <laughs> the sun is doing it a favour. The smells are really, really coming out there. We're getting red fruits, red currants, even sort of cherryish, sort of sharp cherry, kind of bitter cherry kind of smell. But it's certainly red berry fruits. The uh, the red currant is the overpowering suggestion with a, a sort of herbiness on the end, suggesting it might be a nice little tannic taste in there when I get going in a few minutes. But really, the the warm afternoon is is really helping to open this out nicely. Um, probably it's it's a little above the temperature it should be. I've just brought it out from indoors. It's at about 18 was about 18 degrees. Um, it's probably now a bit more. So I hope. Uh, I'm not doing it a disservice to serve it in such a hot, a hot condition. Uh, let's get a taste going and see what it's like. Chin chin. Splendid, splendid smell. The fruit really comes out there. And the tannins too. Let's see if that's maintained in the taste. Now that's not warm temperature wise. There's a nice warm taste there. Possibly that's the 14% coming through a little, but um, certainly it's very fruity. Very nice warmth there of the tannins. It's not too acidic though, it's very pleasant, very smooth. It's a very round tasting wine.
without being demanding. It's quite, still quite a sort of simple sort of taste. Not too complex. Nice balance of flavour, smell, and uh, and complexity. Not too bad. Now, um, I should possibly serve this with a nice uh, bolognese. Uh, dish with a nice meaty sauce or and some pasta or something like that. This afternoon it's too hot for that. Oops, there goes a cracker. I've just got some crackers and some fairly mature grana cheese. So I'm going to give that a go just because I don't need a full meal right now. Just a snack would be more than enough. So I'll try a bit of cheese. It's fairly mature. It's a um, 16 or it might be a 24 month. This one I didn't check, but. Uh, Quite mature, a strong, full flavoured cheese. Incidentally, if you haven't tried it, um, I mentioned it before, it's um, Grana Padano. It's very similar in style to Parmesan, or Parmigiano as it's called here, um, but it comes in at a lower price. It's produced over a wider area, so uh, there we are. But still, but take nothing away from it, it's marvellous. Grated over pasta or mixed in with a with a sauce or even sprinkled on a salad, it's simply splendid. But here, let's try it with the wine and see what we get. And that's lovely and warm. The balance of the, the cheese and wine is very, very good indeed. As you can see, it's quite hot here. I'm starting to melt. So I'll have another drop of the cheese. Hmm. Lovely warm interest there in the aftertaste of the, of the wine. Not too tannic. I mean, it's not matured in in wood. It's um, uh, after fermentation, it's put into steel vats. Then it's bottled and left to mature a while, several months, but it's not actually used on wood. Now the new variety that they're turning out, um, I believe, will be a Cabernet, and this is at the moment maturing in barrels. If you saw an earlier video of mine, um, you might have seen the barrels there, one of the internal shots of the cantina. Uh, this wine, I'm not sure when it will be released, I'm waiting for them to, to tell me, um, and I shall be one of the first in the queue to grab a bottle and uh, bring a review to you because if it's along the, the same lines as their other wines that they produce um, and that they have produced in a relatively short period uh, it should be rather super. Okay, so from me Wine Word Italy another bit of grana, one to remember grana padano, okay? Chin chin, I'll see you again very soon on Wine Word Italy. I hope it's as pleasant where you are as it is where I am. Bye-bye.